the origins of the polio virus, poliomyelitis. The history of poliomyelitis infections extend into prehistory, although major polio epidemics were unknown before the 20th century. For thousands of years, polio survived as an endemic pathogen, basically a pathogen with a steady rate of infection, until the 1900s, when major epidemics started to appear in Europe, and then soon after, the United States then, the rest of the world. By 1910, epidemics became a regular occurrence worldwide, primarily in cities during summer. There was a large outbreak of polio during 1916 in the United States, and although the total number of cases were unknown, there were over 9,000 cases reported in New York alone. Five years later, in 1921, US President-to-be, Franklin D. Roosevelt, contracted polio and was left with severe paralysis, but this would not stop his campaign. He tried everything to get rid of his paralysis, and in 1924, at the Democratic Convention, he had made a dramatic appearance on crutches to nominate Alfred E. Smith as the Happy Warrior. In 1928, Roosevelt became Governor of New York, and then in 1932, he was elected President during the times of the Great Depression and was burdened with fixing the economy and also dealing with his own illness. At its peak during the 1940s and 50s, polio would paralyse or kill over half a million people every year around the world. During this time, polio would become the world's most feared disease and sparked an extraordinary public reaction and mobilisation, spurring the development of new methods to prevent and treat the disease, while also revolutionising medical philanthropy. During the late 1940s, a research group headed by John Enders at the Boston Children's Hospital successfully cultivated the polio virus in human tissue. Enders and his colleagues were recognised for their contribution with the Nobel Prize in 1954. Soon after the Boston Children's Hospital's research, the first vaccine was created by Jonah Salk in 1952. In 1954, the vaccine was tested for its ability to prevent polio. These tests would grow to become the largest medical experiment in history, and he then announced the world his success in 1955. His vaccine, the Salk vaccine, or inactivated poliovirus vaccine, IPV, consists of an injected dose of killed poliovirus. Immediately following the licensing of the vaccine, mass immunisations were promoted by the March of Dimes, resulting in a dramatically reduced number of cases, from 58,000 to just 5,600 cases. A second vaccine would be developed by Albert Sabin. This vaccine would use live but weakened poliovirus and would be called the oral polio vaccine, OPV. Human trials of Sabin's vaccine began in 1957 and would prove not only more effective, but also easier to administer to children. What is the poliovirus, poliomyelitis? The first clinical description of polio was provided by a British physician, Michael Underwood, who referred to polio as the debility of the lower extremes. Poliomyelitis, or polio, is a highly infectious disease caused by the poliovirus. The poliovirus is dangerous as it can sneak past the immune system so easily and targets one of the most important systems of your body, the nervous system. The poliovirus is transmitted through the faecal oral route or, less frequently, by a common vehicle, mainly contaminated water or food. Once the virus enters the intestines at the end of the gastrointestinal tract, it begins to multiply. Poliovirus uses two key mechanisms to evade the immune system. First, it is capable of surviving the highly acidic conditions of the gastrointestinal tract, that is, your stomach and its intestines, allowing the virus to infect the host and spread throughout the body via the lymphatic system. Second, because it can replicate very quickly, the virus overwhelms the host organs before an immune response can be mounted. Individuals who are exposed to poliovirus, either through infection or by immunisation with the polio vaccine, develop immunity. In immune individuals, antibodies appear in the tonsils and gastrointestinal tract and are able to block future poliovirus replication. What are the symptoms? The main symptoms of polio are fever, fatigue, headache, vomiting, stiffness of the neck and pain in the arms and legs. There is, however, a 1 in 200 chance that the infection leads to irreversible paralysis usually in the legs. Among those paralysed, 5-10% to 10 die due to their breathing muscles becoming immobilised. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. There is lots more to come. Check the description below the video for the link to our Facebook page where you will find fun facts, general interest topics, and you'll be able to keep up to date with all the changes we have planned. 
feel free to drop us a comment on the Facebook page and say hi. Please hit that like button if you enjoy this video and don't forget that subscribe button so that you never miss a video. And join us next time.